The Supra has always been my dream car. Since I was a kid, I've loved the Toyota Supra. You have to know, I've wanted one of these cars for a very long time because they remind me of the Supra. You ready for this? Booyah! I love that. It, oh my god, babe, it's a Supra. It's a freaking... <laughs> Hold up, you are joking me right now. What's the buy it now? Not everything's buy it now. Um, it's gonna be. Yeah, like this is, I don't know if you guys know this, since I've been a kid, this is my dream car. Seeing this here at this place gives me hope. I don't have a lot of dream cars. I think Seriously? my only dream yeah. car is the Toyota Supra. I remember when we first started dating, you didn't care about any car but the Supra. And you still don't. <laughs> Oh my god, guys, if you, if you know me, you know that I'm just like nutting right now. Look what showed up. Oh, this is my favorite car of all time. Better than an R34. I can open it. Oh my god. I don't think I've actually ever sat in a Mark IV Super before. Oh, dude. This is it, dude. This is the interior. Oh my god. I need this in my life so bad. This is my car I've wanted since I was like eight. And it's never changed. Oh god, I just can't stop looking at it. I need it in my life. Oh, I need to buy one, I need to buy one, I need to buy one. Get out of here so you don't buy it. Okay, get out of here, Evan. You need to buy one. Whoa! Oh my god! Yo, so I know a lot of you guys know my dream car. My dream car, Toyota Supra. My boy over here has got one. Just, just sitting here staring at me. It's a classic Target top. It's like the Alpine white. This is like, I, I, I walked over here and my heart like melted. I need it. I need it. Dream car. This is an actual, original, was a twin turbo. Super turbo, dude. This is the dream car, man. Oh, oh that sounds so good. Man, this has been my dream car since I was a little kid. And you're letting me drive it right now. Yeah, so, man, no problem. Yeah, it's just, we do a burnout, right? Burnout. <laughs> Let's go! I love the Toyota Supra. It really is kind of my dream car. I will own a Mark IV someday. You guys ready to see it? My new Supra. I'm just kidding. I remember pretty vividly the first time I'd ever seen a Toyota Supra. I was playing Need for Speed Underground. And so this was 2001, so that, that would have made me seven. I was seven years old. I remember the time I was going through the little menu, like when you're going through the Need for Speed car list, and um, came across this car. This was before I was, you know, I knew I was a car enthusiast, at least, and I saw this car, I was like, that's a cool car. I liked the roundness, like the bubbly, I liked the tail lights, the headlights, and everything about the car. And so ever since that time, I have always had my mind, like, made up that the Supra is like my favorite car of all time. I even like, funny enough, I actually, when I was a kid, I didn't even like the R34. <laughs> I thought it looked weird. I had the, the, I thought the taillights looked weird. Um, this is when I was a kid. Maybe that's what's wrong with me. I don't know. For a long time, I have wanted a Toyota Supra. And so today is a pretty big deal for myself. Every car, every build, every project so far has kind of been like dancing around me holding off getting the Supra. In fact, I actually made an intro to a video that I ended up deleting a few months ago. I talked a little bit about why I hadn't bought one yet because I, that's the one car I've really always known that I can get and I've always wanted. And I didn't want that to feel like in game for me. I tweeted about that several times. I mean, I've, I've talked about Supras, literally. You guys have watched me for a while. You guys know, dude, that I love the Toyota Supra. Now, I will say this. I do have three dream cars. I have my, my real, like, dream, 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 dream car is the McLaren F1. Learned that one from Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. McLaren F1, Ferrari F40, those are the two, like, Moderately, I'm not super realistic, but like it's definitely somehow attainable someday. <laughs> but the Toyota Supra is that third one. I do have three, but the Toyota Supra is the one I know that I can get. I know, I've always known I can get. Now, I will say this, I do have a, while the Supra is my dream car, I do have a dream Supra. The one that I bought is not like my perfect Supra, but I figured it was time. I wanted to go ahead, get it done, and just make it happen for myself because I just wanted to make that move in my life. My dream Supra is a white, it's white target top with TRD spec'd out stuff everywhere. That is like, that is my dream. Original twin, target top, like spec'd out TRD stuff. Like that's left hand drive, of course. This one, I'm not gonna give away too much. Here's a picture of it. Bada bing, there you go. Let me tell you guys a story of how this came up. You guys know Chris? Chris, White Jesus, whatever you wanna call him, like my friend who's been my friend for a long time. Disclaimer, I have been looking to buy 
a Supra for about a month or two now. Like I've been I've been really attempting, really trying to get my hands on one, but I wanted to do it before the new year. I wanted to end that decade, the tens, the teens, whatever, with that car. And I kind of had given up at this point. I was like, it's too late. Like it was New Year's at like, it was, it was December 31st at like 7 p.m. I think, and Chris DMs me a Supra for a for a good deal, for a pretty good deal. Considering I had looked for very similar spec cars and this one was lower price with more of what I wanted. And so, I messaged the, I messaged the guy, I'm like, dude, it's like seven or eight o'clock on New Year's. He's not gonna get back to me. But I told him, I was like, dude, I have cash. I want this car right now. I will, I will buy it. I will literally buy it. It seemed like an hour or two or three of waiting, maybe three years or four years of waiting, but it was actually about, 10 minutes. He finally gets back to me. He's like, yes, I still have it. I was like, thank you, God. This is great. <laughs> we start talking a little bit. He sends me more pictures. I'm super picky about all this kind of stuff. I don't, I haven't had a super yet because I am incredibly picky. This car is, uh, it's been imported. So it's right hand drive and imported stuff is kind of sketchy and sucks to deal with most times. So I talked to him forever. I was like, does it have this, this, this? Have you done this, 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 this? I had a huge list of things. I probably irritated him. Probably not. He's a super nice guy. Company out of Houston, like he imports cars. He's probably used to people like me and uh he was like okay you can ha you can buy the car but you have to come down and look at it but if it sells before you can get here i'll let you know okay and so i sat there for about 10 minutes i looked at the car i was like nobody can buy this car nobody can buy this car i have to buy this car i told him i was like we can either put a down payment on it tonight or just buy it the guy was kind of busy, he was driving, so we ended up going to our New Year's party. We had a party at one of our, my high school friends. As we're going there the whole time, I'm like sweating, dude. I'm like, this is the this is the moment I've been, I've been waiting for. My first Supra, my first Toyota Supra. Like, I'm sweating, bro. And Victoria's sitting here, I'm driving, she's talking to him. Really, the funniest part about this is, I bought my first Supra while at a party. Kind of funny because like as a car enthusiast, I really don't know how to act around people that are not car enthusiasts. And so it was really comforting knowing I could still do car things <laughs> while at a party. Cause I don't have anything to talk, what do I talk about dude? Like I make YouTube videos and I build cars for a living and I have no, and I play COD. Like I play, I play Xbox. What do I talk about with you, Miss PhD in whatever college -y? So um, my first Supra I bought at a party. <laughs> We wire transferred him the money and it was just like, boom, cheers. And then I was happy. I was stoked. I'm hoping that the, like, just this, the lead up, the years of me working hard enough to be able to just buy one, it will have been worth it. I just, I know that I'm gonna love it though. Every time I see one, dude, I about poop myself because I just think they're the sickest cars of all time. I, I literally love them. I couldn't, I can't explain to you guys how much love I have in my heart for the Toyota Supra. What's funny too, the point of me buying my SC300 in college was because I always wanted that Supra, but I couldn't have in college. Even, I still, I wish to God I would have bought one because NA manuals were like 12K when I was in college. Two years later, they've like quadrupled in price. I, I couldn't afford that. So I bought the next best thing. I bought a really clean SC300. And um, it's something that had the 2JZ and it's literally a Lexus Supra. Probably the closest thing to a Mark IV Supra you can get without actually having a Mark IV Supra. Owning that was like, the, the, the really the reason why I bought that was because I wanted the Supra so bad. And so like everything we did obviously was like drift inspired and I learned to drift in that car and that was a really fun car. But a lot of what I did in that car was inspired by the Supra. In fact, I put Supra brakes on it. Every time I got a Supra part for my Lexus, I, I got a giddy. I got a Supra, a Mark IV Supra throttle cable, right? To adapt to my 1JZ. And I thought that it was the coolest thing ever because it was part of a Mark IV that was in my car. I literally, guys, can't explain to you guys how much I have wanted this car for my whole life. The reason I got the 1JZ, was because I could the the 2J the the GE went bad. Didn't want to rebuild that. The one I, the reason why I got the one JZ non VVTI is because that's what I could afford at the time, and that's the closest thing I'd ever. Done. I remember the first time the car started up. The first time the car started up, oh I was like, oh Supra. It sounds like Supra. Like I even if it was a Mark III motor, like it was a Mark III Supra motor. The motor even said Supra on it, dude. Like I. My inner child is coming out tonight. Finally going to get my Mark IV Supra. My first one of a lot. Y'all, if you only knew how distracted he's been all day. This is just torture. 
There it is. My Toyota Supra in the flesh. Oh my God. <laughs> How's it going, man? Appreciate you for uh, being able to come tonight. It's here! She's home! <laughs> oh yeah, add it to the collection. <laughs> I'm super excited to show you guys this car. Next video I'll do a whole walk around, but uh, this is, I finally bought my Supra. And I'll tell you what, anticipate this car needing a lot of love. I wanted to buy something that wasn't just like perfect. I wanted to buy something that I could work on, we could work together on, and you guys could see progress with. <laughs> so, not to say it's bad. Like, it's, it's fine, but it just needs a little love. <laughs> My daily advice to you guys is don't ever sell yourself short. Don't ever discount a goal you have for yourself. A lot of people will do that for you and you know it's your job to make sure you say no you know what like I want this is this is my plan this is my goal chase that chase that plan chase that goal. Oh the horn actually works. Can't wait to show you guys this I honestly haven't even like looked at it a bunch but I'm gonna do that now for the next video. Two different speakers oh my god. All right. Have an amazing day. Hey, I got two videos for you, baby. But guess what? You can win my Evo as well. Win that Evo. Watch these super things. Look at the twin turbo Civic. Just... <laughs>